Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Megan, of course. Brandon Wenzel, come back at you. Another offering off my sample platter. Yes, indeed, folks. Sample platter video series videos have been doing for a little while now. We're over there trying food and drink items. I go over there. I eat this stuff, I drink the stuff, then I talk about the stuff. I'll let you know what you need to know about the stuff. While I'm doing it, I'm usually wearing cool shirts. Today is no exception. Mantra Mortis shirt. Great band out of Indiana. Definitely give them a shot. No no sponsorship or anything. They're just cool folks. I got to see them at a concert. Nice folks. I had a Pier Can Thunderbolt poster over there. He's doing his thing. Got some Marvel figures up there. I had a crappy old ladder over there. There's a scope bottle up in the thing holding some CDs up right now. It's a wacky experience, folks. It's a regular Pee Wee's Playhouse up in this bitch. But without, like, you know, the acid trips and Lawrence Fishburne as a cowboy. Although, maybe. But anyway, folks, so what am I trying for y'all today? Well, i got to get to this one a little bit quick. It's going to be a dual one, and I can't do it exactly the way I normally do it. <laughs> I'm explaining why, because normally I come in, I'm like, boom, this is the item, it's the thing. I can't do that today. Here's why, because, boom. I mean, I'm still kind of doing it, but uh, I can't do the full boom because it's it's clearly a thing. Yes, folks, uh, Arizona, a.k.a. the people who make the really cheap tea and, you know, fruit punch and stuff like that, you know, usually giant can cost you a buck. It's a good time. I mean, I like Arizona stuff, you know. I mean, it's not top quality stuff, but it's not trying to be, and it's not super duper cheap tasting either, and it only costs like a dollar. Again, no paid sponsorship or anything, but, you know. But, yeah, weirdly enough, they decided to come out with some chip trays. Got two to try, because I think there's only two. One with chips and cheese, the other one with chips and salsa. Folks, you go over there, you take this. You put this in your microwave for 30 seconds. Let me tell you what you get, folks. Something that needs about another 15 seconds or so in the microwave. At least in mine. And mine's like normal wattage. But yeah, uh, I have no idea why. I, I don't. I mean, it's, you know, Arizona wants to brand out, I guess. They also have some gummies uh, now, uh, which I will hopefully try at some point. I just, you know, at some point. This is a weird one, though. At least with the gummies, I can kind of go with it. You know, it's, it's sort of, you know, juice and stuff like that. Kind of like, this is weird. My, uh, my coworker, Jesus, uh, he was the one who brought these to my attention, and he explained them to me, and I didn't think they were real. I was pretty sure that Jesus was off his ass crazy. We do work with, you know, paint and stuff like that. Sometimes the fumes can get to you. But he swore they were real, and I'll be damned if they didn't show up at Walmart not too long after that. Sure! Papa Bailey, like I said, for, you know, 30 seconds, 40 seconds. And I have to mention, so I have this one, and then again, I, I have the, uh, this is the uh, salsa one. This one on the packaging that was on the top, specifically said, it's like, put it in 30 seconds, you're fine. That one didn't have any instructions whatsoever, so I was just like, well, we'll do the same thing and we'll see what happens. So anyway, folks, what am I expecting out of this? I don't know because it's Arizona and it's weird that they would make this, but my guess would be these are probably going to be not too dissimilar from, uh, you know, basically like movie theater nachos and stuff like that. So, which, I mean, to be fair, I mean, they're not, you know, great nachos or anything, but you do buy the damn things every once in a while, even though they're overpriced. So there's something to them. If you can do that, just microwave it at home. Ooh. So let's give it a go. Chips! Cheese! Yeah, it's already... I, I honestly, I think I could have probably given it like another... Uh, like 20 seconds or so, because it's already, it's not solidified, but it's definitely trying to, so. Yeah, I mean, it's, it really does, it, for the most part, it just tastes... Again, you know, ballpark nachos or something like that. The and chips are fine. You know, they, they taste like the chips you would expect. I mean, it will even. They're smaller, but they've got decent flavor to them for what they are. Um, 
you know, I can, personally, I could maybe do it just a little, little bit more seasoning to them, but not bad. And then the cheese itself, it's definitely that, like I said, movie theater ballpark, uh, nacho cheese, where I mean, it doesn't taste anything <laughs> like real cheese. It's very punchy. Um, I mean, you can, you know, with the coloration and stuff like that, you know, it's got that bright orange. You can taste the neon. <laughs> it is, it is in no way, shape, or form like, you know, a substitute for like actual really good nachos with really solid cheese. But it does have an appeal to it. Um, this cheese, honestly, might even be more punchy than the stuff from the theaters. Like, maybe a little bit. I haven't had friggin' nachos from the theater in quite a while, so. Um, but it's definitely, if not identical, very similar. And, I mean, that's fine. And, as long as you go into it understanding exactly what you're going to get, I think you'll be perfectly happy with these. Uh, would I recommend them? The cheese ones specifically, obviously, in this instance. Uh, I don't think they cost very much, from what I recall. I mean, as just a thing to have in your cupboard, and which, by the way, you don't need to refrigerate these or anything. Uh, so that'll tell you some stuff about the cheese. Yeah, I mean, it's it's perfectly fine. I don't know that I personally would get them again. But, again, like, just as, like, a weird snack. That's the thing. They're just, again, they're so weird and out of place, you know, off-brand for Arizona. Um... Uh, you know, like I said, they don't they don't taste bad or anything, but I, don't, I just there's no <laughs> you spill a niche that I don't personally have in my life because if if I want nachos and I'm at a movie theater. Or a ball game or something like that. That stuff is available. There you go. If I'm not in those settings, chances are I can go over there and get better nachos. You know, like with ease. Or even potentially make them if I really, you know, like with this. I mean, yeah, it's it's real simple and real easy. Like, I, I mean, I'm not going to advocate this as being a snack for a kid because I'm sure it's not healthy at all. But, it's definitely a very easy snack to prepare, so it has that going for it. But again, I just, it's weird, and I don't understand why. So, I don't know that I would recommend it, but I mean, if you want to try it, go ahead. They're not bad, they're just, you know, like I said, I for me, I don't really understand the point of them. But maybe, chips and salsa. This, I could see working a little bit better. The only thing is, again... Like, it's not hard to get tortilla chips, and salsa is really easy to get, too. Probably way better salsa than this would be my guess. But maybe this is the best salsa in the history of salsa, folks. It's possible. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know Arizona. Unless you live in Arizona. Is Arizona the company in Arizona? I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Immediately, I'm going to say I prefer these to those. Uh, it, the salsa for me, like I said, the cheese was fine and everything. The salsa for me, in this instance, I think works better as an experience. Uh, the salsa itself actually isn't half bad. You can even see, like, it's a little hard to see. There's even, like, some, 
you know, what were presumably vegetables at some point in there. Not the best salsa you're going to have, especially in the last like homemade, but it's not bad tasting either. It's got a nice kind of, uh, you know, punchy tomato taste to it. It's got a little bit of a cake, but not much. I mean, if this were, you know, like, at, you know, at a, a restaurant or whatever, I think this would be relatively mild salsa. Uh, but it does have a kick to it, which I, I personally appreciate. And yeah, I mean, it tastes like, you know, an okay store-bought salsa, which isn't bad. Great thing about salsa, you can fuck it up, don't get me wrong, I've had bad salsa. But, usually even, like, decent salsa is, you know, it's tasty enough, it's, it works very well. And this is, this is that. It's not, you know, like I said, it's not fantastic salsa, but it does the job that it needs to do. And it actually does so well. So, yeah, I mean, for me personally, I'm, you know, would I recommend these? More so over the other ones. Um, and these, I think, make for a better snack experience, In uh, again, in my opinion, which, yeah, I'm the only one talking, so that's the only opinion that matters in this instance. Um, again, the, kind of the problem is, though, is that, again, you can get chips and salsa pretty easily. Maybe price-wise, I'll say that. If you just want a simple serving of this, price-wise, this probably works out because, like I said, I don't think these cost very much. You know, a thing of salsa is going to cost you a few bucks and then, you know, obviously a bag of chips. But, obviously, that's going to give you more, probably, value per volume. But if you just want, like, basically a single serving of this, something you can just have as a snack... It does that pretty well. Uh, I don't know if I would get it again. But, as I don't usually keep chips and salsa in the house, which I'm now pondering as to why, because I like chips and salsa, and I just don't usually think about it, I guess. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it, I you know, I could potentially... I could see myself getting this, this one again with the salsa over the cheese. Uh, because again, like, I could see this as being something, you know, it's the Lunchables of chips and salsa. And I could see that being a thing where, like, especially if it was, you know, maybe late at night and I just wanted, you know, something I could pop in the microwave super quick to watch movies to. This would work, but there's definitely better options out there. So, anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me and my review on that. Five things for me, folks, before I get out of here. Have yourself a stupendous rest of your day. Fantastic rest of your week. Awesome rest of your month. Monumental rest of your year. If you could go over there and have yourself a legitimate nacho cheese and chips and salsa rest of your life. Not this stuff. I'm talking about the good stuff. The stuff you go to, like, you know, that nice little Mexican place that's over there. And, you know, most of their menu isn't in English, but, you know, you know enough and, you know, there's some pictures and stuff so you can kind of make it work and everything like that. And the people who work the place are really nice, even though, you know, again, they don't speak the best English and you don't speak the best Spanish. But you make it work because they make really good food and they're nice people. And, you know, we all live in this wonderful culture called America. Hooray! That was a positive thing, right? And I actually have places like that, too. There's this one place I go to. I cannot recall the name to name of it. It's been a little while since I've been there. What with, we're just shifting out of the pandemic at the time I'm doing this, so. Uh, I, I actually need to get back there. But, man, they make these sandwiches, like these tortas. They are the most unhealthy things in the world. But, oh, my God, they're so fantastic. But it is a thing, like, they are clearly geared towards a Spanish-speaking clientele, which is perfectly all right. But I, I go in and I'm just like, uh, that one. So, you know, and they smile and they're just like, yay. So, we, you know, they're nice people. Anyway, <laughs> file two things for me, folks, if you could. 
Try to bring the positivity to the world. It's not as possible. It is always appreciated, though. Sometimes you can't do it, though. Don't beat yourself up too much. You can't. But if you can't, at least try not to be an asshole. I think that's usually doable for most of us. Give it a shot. Final thing for you, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to do. Maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you're going to start your own Mexican restaurant. It's going to go over there and have, like, some of the best chips and salsa you can get this side of the Mississippi. And you're going to go over there, and you're going to make this stuff. And you're going to go over there, and you're going to have goofy, ridiculous-looking white guys like me come in who are over there, and, you know, I sit at the table, and it's just me and a whole bunch of nice Hispanic families. <laughs> I am the most out-of-place person imaginable. <laughs> but it works because, damn it, food is delicious and people are awesome sometimes do that so or do something else i don't know learn to play the tambourine bye